Hey, what's up everybody? So here's part two that I've been putting off and off and off. It's going to be a long video, but uh, part one is, let's see, part one is where I was stopped on my bicycle going to the media staging area where I was directed to go by a police supervisor. Then I was stopped by Officer Aiken and, um, and his uh, buddy, Corporal Kempink, and then they both retaliated against me. Aiken retaliated by sending me 300 some dollars with the uh, bicycle citations in the mail, which again is uh, First Amendment retaliation. I believe there's a case in the Supreme Court about it right now. Um, secondly, Officer Chris Davila and Officer Ojeda both uh, retaliated against me because I wouldn't show them ID when I was not legally obligated to do so. I'll prove that right now. And uh, Davila admitted that in open court. And for all you haters who say I should just obey, don't tell me to just obey. The only people that need to obey are the people who swore an oath to obey the Constitution. It would be these guys in green. The reason I'm showing you this guy is because this is one of Pasco Sheriff's deputies who was actually on that TV show that I guess people watch. I watch it and my blood boils. I watched it the other day for like five minutes. It just happened to be on with when my wife's turned the TV on. And right away, they're unlawfully stopping someone. And they just videotape it like it's legal when it's not. So this deputy was arrested and fired after he went to some girl's house that he probably really wanted and couldn't get. Told her to come outside because he said he had police business. Started jerking off in front of her. Came, had an orgasm, and then tried to wipe his semen on her breasts and on her lips and this guy i'm gonna do a whole video about this guy there's actually a video where he says the reason i wear the badge blah 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 blah. but anyway the reason i was making this video is because there's a lot of haters who said i should have just id'd and it's lawful to i and i have to id let me get this ugly dude's face off there so here's the first uh when they stopped me after they kept threatening to kidnap me what they call arrest for disorderly and then for riding my bicycle and then for blah 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 you know corporal campings pussy was hurting really bad because he's because he looked really stupid and doesn't know the law doesn't know what a seizure is so when i walked away from him he kept throwing his arms up kept taunting me kept telling me to come back so i called 911 and then finally i made it home you saw in the first video after they forced me to id myself under threatened arrest told me i couldn't go home unless I surrendered my Fourth Amendment. When they ask you for ID, that is a surrender of your Fourth Amendment. They are literally asking you to surrender your Fourth Amendment right. I don't like surrendering my rights. Police think you should do it at the drop of a hat. They swore to protect your rights. So all you haters who are this stupid, when a cop asks you for ID and you haven't done anything wrong or not doing anything wrong or not about to do anything wrong, and when I say wrong, I mean unlawful, they have no right to stop you or request ID. I guess this was a safety checkpoint, so I respected them, and I stopped, and I gave them my address and called them all, sir. That wasn't good enough for them. I had to, to surrender my Fourth Amendment for them to be happy. And since I didn't, they retaliated against me. Now I'm going off on a tangent. So when I got home, uh, I called, or I got called by a sergeant. So here's a phone call. Probably. And I'm going to let me turn this up. And I'm going to stop it and commentate because I have a big mouth. Sorry, guys. Um, we got, I'm looking for John. Who is this? Sergeant Graffle from the Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Graffle, Grapple, something like that. Sorry. All right, I'm going to record from my record, sir. How can I help you? You called me asking for Suva. I did not call him. He just called me. I did. Oh. Oh, maybe I did call him. I take that back. Well, you mean like... 40 minutes ago? Oh, so no, he called me. Is that what you're talking about? Sir, we have other calls going on. I, I don't know. If the call you're calling... I'm just trying to verify. See, I just want to know if he's talking about the call I asked for a supervisor 40 minutes ago while I was still being detained. And right away, he starts getting hostile. All right, I'm just trying to verify, sir. I don't know why you're getting all hostile. I'm not getting all hostile. You're asking me if it was 40 minutes ago... I don't know if you called in 40 minutes. I just got oh, this call okay. asking me if somebody needed a call well, for a supervisor. If it's for I'm the, calling you back. Okay, sir. I appreciate that. And the reason I called is because your corporal and some other cop 
that don't have name tags. A lot of them refused to give me their badge number, kept threatening me and taunting me and taunting me, and they were looking for any reason they could to try to put me in handcuffs because I was on media and I was trying to get past. And for all you assholes who say I'm not media, you're dumb. The First Amendment is the freedom of press. That's one of the five things it guarantees. Who is press? Anyone who wants to be press. That's called freedom. If you have a camera, you can be press. You can give it, you could sell your work to a publisher. Press is not a government issued thing. Press isn't by permission of the government. The only time press is by permission is when you're trying to, to do media work, record, capture, uh, uh, do journalism inside of a private keyword, private venue. That private venue can request that you do not come in, not request, but demand that you don't come in. Otherwise, you can record whatever you can see from public, in public areas. Be very clear on this for all you haters that hate me and keep saying I should die and all that stuff. I'm just following the law. I know most people think that the actual law and how much freedom it gives us is crazy, but freedom is crazy. It is a crazy concept, and that's why so many of us are willing to fight for it. It's called freedom for a reason. Uh, there, I was riding my bicycle. I want to file a complaint against all these cops, but I'm riding my bicycle, okay, well, and the guy I mean, thinks that I have to ID myself. Me. I'm sorry? You're, I'm sorry. Did you say you're you're in the media? Yes. I mean, a media, yes. I have my credentials around my neck. Which you don't need credentials. I just wear them because police think that they're important for some reason. And the guy would not let me go. He wouldn't answer if I was being detained or not. Once he says I'm being detained, the next time he won't answer, he keeps telling me where I can go in my own neighborhood, even though I was on a public street. I have no obligation to ID. I'm in my own neighborhood. Are you talking about, hold on, let me look at the app. Hold on, give me one second. Go ahead, it's Lake Padgett, where the sequel is. Caught him off guard. Okay, you're, you're talking, you're, are you by, are you covering the whole sinkhole issue over there? I was trying to until I got impeded. Not, I mean, they impeded me from doing my work. I said I was trying to cover the event until I got impeded by your by your officers. Okay. So, okay, so there's a lot of deputies out there right now, and, and that is my area, but I don't know who specific you're talking well, about. Well, right one now. is a corporal, so, and, I, and I asked him at least 10 times for a supervisor, and he says, I don't need a supervisor. Did nope. he have a uniform on with a corporal stripes on or a green one or a black uniform? Uh, he wore glasses. His name was a Hispanic name, I believe, and... He told me I can't okay, ride so my bike. What's that? Did he have a black uniform on? Or a yeah, green, black. A hard common green uniform. It was a black with the bulletproof vest. They look like SWAT team out here. Okay. Am, so, I, am I allowed to be detained right, so, on a bicycle for nothing? Well, if it's for nothing, I, I don't know the, their definition of detained. I know that there is deputies out there because of the... My definition of detained is... I'm told I'm being detained, and I can't move. I believe that's the legal standard. Sinkhole, mm -hmm. because they've evacuated a lot of those houses. Mm -hmm. There's deputies patrolling that neighborhood. The houses they evacuated were a mile from where I was standing. Specifically. And the houses they're evacuating, the media was standing on the front lawns of those houses. The media staging area was less than 100 feet from the actual sinkhole. And I was a mile away in part one. Fine. Deputies have been called. Almost a mile. I'm, uh, you know, exaggerating. Who have been called in to patrol those houses because from my understanding, they're empty. Because they're evacuated. Okay. So, yes, there are certain areas in there right now that you are not allowed to go in. So, I would guess. Uh, like sir, with all due respect, sir, does. I hate to stop you right there, but I'm still allowed to travel on the public streets. Listen, it's not a that state is, of emergency. Not if closed down. No, you're not. But if it wasn't closed down, they were just checking the driver's yeah. licenses. Okay, well, then, then you know what? I wasn't There's driving. I don't know. I, 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 can't, I can't speak for them. They were there. They okay. detained you. It was the corporal. Then he is a super This is where blame deflection comes in. I can't speak for them. Cops like to use that one a lot. Supervisor, and he can handle the situation, so. But um, he's, he's the one that, want, he's I, the one I called 911 on. He's the person I called 911 on. And when I asked him for his supervisor, he told saying? me I don't need one. Excuse what me? Felix. What is it? 
F like Frank. I didn't hear you. F like Frank. I. No, I don't need the spelling. Just I, I didn't hear your the name. Felix. John Felix. Felix. Okay, John Felix. Here's all I can do for you, John. I could call the. Uh, I can call the lieutenant. You, I don't know. I can answer your question two ways. Look, you, if you want to make a complaint on those deputies, then you're, by all means you have the, the right to do that. You go to the district one office off the of little road and government drive, and you can file a, a, a official complaint on them if you want. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if I am the supervisor, I can tell you right now, there's a lieutenant on scene over there that's handling the command post. So what's his name? If, 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 if Lieutenant Rollerson. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can give him a call. It doesn't sound like you're going to be happy with my response or his response, probably. So uh, I, I if, if you guys are going to hold the uh, if you guys are going to hold the position that I'm not allowed to travel in public on my in my own in public. On foot in my own neighborhood. I can't, make, I can't make an I can't make an assumption, but if you're the person that I think you are, uh, if you're the person I think you are. I remember you. I was in that area not too long ago. Actually, it was, it was probably close to a year ago, where a gentleman uh, there was an emergency in that area where we had the 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 uh, an individual with a gun in a house. Okay, what he's talking about here is. Right at the exact same spot where the villa and Ojeda stopped me at their checkpoint and got all butt hurt that I wouldn't ID even though I'm not legally required to. So they don't care about the law. They care about their own feelings. Anyway, right at that same spot, I'm coming home one night and they got it uh, cordoned off and they're like talking through a megaphone. I have this on video somewhere. They're talking through a megaphone at the house and they keep telling some guy to come out. So I pull off to the side Park my car, put my press pass on so they understand that I'm there to, as press recording, which anybody can be press. Surprise, surprise. And so I'm recording them, they're doing their thing, and then of course they see me, they get butthurt about it, they come over and they try to uh, tell me I'm not allowed to be there. And I'm like, I'll stay behind the police tape. So then they move the police tape like, way way down the block where there was nothing happening so you're gonna hear a lot of cops playing right now I'll, i'm sure i'll butt in because it's my video and i talk a lot that's why mm -hmm. and and you wanted to get in and we told you no you wanted to get in you see how i use vague terminology i didn't want to get in anywhere i pulled off to the side i went behind my car i stayed out of their way and i recorded now you see right away he starts off with a lie so, no, I did not want to get in. Your safety. I didn't ask. Right away, your safety. The Supreme Court has ruled that the police are under no obligation for anybody's safety. So you stupid asses that keep using, they're just doing their job, trying to keep you safe. They have no obligation to keep you safe. You can't sue them if they don't keep you safe. Supreme Court ruled they don't have to keep you safe. Your safety is none of their concern. To get in, sir. I stood on the perimeter. I stood way, way out of your way, and then you guys changed it into something okay. else. I was nowhere near you guys. Saying, a, bullet, a bullet can travel, you know, easily 100 yards. So what? That's why I went behind my car, and it's my life, and it's my business. You worry about your business, and I'll worry about mine. Why do police have such a problem with that? You were well within 100 yards. Sir, sure. okay. I, but that has nothing to do with it. Here, let, to do with this. let me try to have a normal you conversation with them. you. Lou had it. Let me let me ha let me take a little bit of your time here. You can go ahead and call the lieutenant. Okay. You don't want to talk to me. Say, obviously, that's gonna, that, that's gonna make you happy. Uh, so. Gonna make me happy. If you follow the law, I'll be happy. Yes, exactly. I mean, you, you, you told me if they could if they could detain you. I said if there's a reason that they detain you, then that's what they're gonna detain you for. A lot of those roads are closed because the house, the homes are evacuated. So well, the best the best person that will be able to tell you. What road do you... Yeah, my phone's cracking up here, so I wish I, I wish I knew what I was saying, but unfortunately, I don't. Evacuated, and where people are and are not allowed to be on? Will, will you answer my question, please, sir? A... What's that? Are you saying probable cause and reasonable suspicion that it's suspended right now in my neighborhood? That must have been what I was asking him when I was cracking up there. You know, you're uh, you're throwing stuff out there that doesn't really need to be. I suggest you call Lieutenant Rollins and he can. You're throwing stuff out there that doesn't really what he lost his train of thought there. Yeah, okay. give you his number? Breaking up again. You want me to give you his number? Uh sure, go ahead. Recording later. I yeah, I said yes, sir, go ahead. I'll take it off the recording later. Two seven seven. Mm-hmm. Seven one 
727 area code. Say it one more time, please. 727 277 7184. 277 1784. Well, if. No. Uh, 277 7184. 7184. 7184. Um, yep. You're not willing to answer my questions? I can't answer your questions because I'm not there, but there are certain roads that are closed off. And if you're the same person that came in the studio last time, I suggest you talk to him. If you're the same person that came in last time, I suggest you talk to him. I see. Because you're going to be asking a lot of questions that have nothing to do with what's going on out there, right? You're going to ask questions that have nothing to do with what's going on out there. So if I'm detained, reasonable suspicion and probable cause is the legal standard to detain somebody. So it has everything to do with what was going on out there, plus my specific situation. Lieutenant Rawlinson, that's the guy you need to talk to. Okay, okay so you're not willing to answer any questions? You got any other questions for me? Uh, I would like to know if probable cause and uh, reasonable suspicion has been suspended in my neighborhood. You're, you're, that, that's just a ridiculous question. Do you have any of That's a ridiculous question. The question that I can that's, answer that's ridiculous? A question about the law is ridiculous. Okay. And you're a sergeant, right, you said? I'm going to hang up the phone right now. And you're a sergeant. Okay. Interesting. So he hung up right there. All right, I was going to play the Lieutenant Rollerson uh, phone call, too, on this video, but that would make the video really, really long because I like to butt in and I never shut up. So there you go. Sergeant blah, blah, blah. I can't even make out his name. Uh, so there's part two. What else we got here? I'll make a video about this this uh, this guy who who's on the, the, uh, the blah, 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 blah. I can't finish the sentence now. This guy who beat off in front of a girl in public and tried to wipe his semen on her breasts and lips. So, there you go. There's your Pasco County Sheriff's Office. You ask him a question about the Fourth Amendment they swore an oath to, and he says it's a ridiculous question. All right, part three will be Lieutenant Rollerson's phone call. I really appreciate everybody. All you haters, before you comment and say stupid shit, make sure you have your laws ready, the links ready, and be ready to, deb to debate. If you just say I'm stupid, I'm going to say your father's stupid. Okay? If that's what you got, then you're stupid. I I'm, I'm citing the laws here. I'm, I'm following the, the law to the letter. I'm, uh, I'm doing everything legitimately. So why would these guys with guns have issues with that? And there you go. If you ask about the Fourth Amendment, reasonable suspicion, or probable cause, what's required for a lawful detainment, then you're asking ridiculous questions of a police department. There's your Pasco County Sergeant, whoever, I can't make out his name. All right, stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching. Bye.